Hi guys, welcome to week four, day five. This is gonna be a 12 minute circuit. We're gonna do our whole body, no repeat workout, and we need our 10 pound dumbbells. So, So we're gonna start, let me grab my dumbbells, make sure you get a good stretch. And the first thing that we're doing is our back. So we're gonna do three movements, um, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And the first thing we're doing is just um, uh, rows. Okay, I don't wanna use this because I don't wanna get in trouble. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. So you grab your dumbbells, we're gonna be Pinched over at our waist, so our back is straight, parallel to the ground. You should feel um, like a stretch in your hamstrings. And we're just doing slow and controlled rows. And on your way up, you should feel your shoulder blades coming together. Make sure every muscle is activated. Good. All right, so my legs are activated, my arms are activated, my core is engaged, my belly button's nice and tight going back to my back body. Really controlled on the way down. Time, good. Okay, the next thing we're doing is butterflies. So we're gonna grab our weights and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pivot at our hips and we're just gonna open. So instead of rowing, we're gonna open our um, arms wide like a butterfly. Three, two, one. So my, my legs are a little bit wider than my knees. I'm bent um, over, pivoting at my, at, on my back. The weights are together. My elbows are bent at 90 degrees. Hold it at the top for like a second. Slow and controlled on the way down. Nice job. Bring your shoulder blades together at the top. Uh, nice and controlled. Exhale. Nice job, guys. Four, three, two, and time. Awesome. And then the last one we're doing is just overhead press. So we're going to have our dumbbells right on our shoulders. Our knees are slightly bent, and we're bringing them together at the top. One. Okay, so my dumbbells are right on my shoulders. And nice and slow and controlled the way down. It's a small movement, so my, um, my arms are engaged the entire time. So I'm never locking my elbows. My elbows are always bent so that my arms are active the entire time. Good job, guys. Five seconds. And time. Good. Okay, next we're going to do our abs. So we don't need our weights. And the first thing we're going to do is just uh, um, bird dogs. So we are going to be on tabletop position. So my hands are directly underneath my knees. On the exhale, my belly button comes in. I extend, I'm reaching as far as I can. Inhale, everything to center. Exhale, belly button out. I mean, in towards your ribs. Exhale, reach your hand forward, reach your leg backwards. Inhale to center. And we can hold for about three seconds on each side. Make sure your hips stay nice and tall and stacked. Last one. Good. All right, now we're gonna do our dead bugs. So this is all good postpartum exercises for your abs and for your breath work and like strengthening your transverse abdominis. All right, so we're gonna be on our back and it's the same thing. Our hand reaches and our leg reaches. All right, so legs 90 degrees. My hands are up towards the sky. My tailbone is touching the floor. I'm gonna 
opposite arm and leg extends and I'm reaching and I'm exhaling and I'm bringing my belly button in. Inhale to center, exhale. Keep that tailbone engaged with the floor. It's good if you're shaking. Bring that belly button in and inhale to center. Good job, guys. Last one here. Ah, good. Okay, and the last thing we're doing is just a plank. People are scared of planks, but plank, um, it's the same thing as the dead bugs where you're bringing your belly button in and you're engaging your transverse abdominis. All right, so we're gonna be on our forearms and go. Keep that butt down, exhale. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze, squeeze the quads. Wiggle your shoulder blades. Big breath, let it all out. <sighs> Big breaths here. When you exhale, really bring that belly button back towards your back body and up. And five, four, three, two, time. All right, we'll take like a 30 second break and then we'll do our legs. Um, we're gonna use our weights here. The first thing we're doing are step backs. Okay. Ah, so we will go in 10 seconds. So grab your weights and we're gonna do reverse lunges. So let's start three, two, one. I'll step my right leg back and just back to center. Keep your back nice and tall. Don't lean forward. Keep your core engaged and your shoulder blades roll back. Good job, guys. Five seconds. Good, time. Okay, next we're gonna use both of our weights and we're gonna do single leg RDLs. So we'll do 20 seconds on one leg, 20 on the other. Grab your weights. We'll start with our left leg. So I'm on my left leg. My dumbbells are right in front of me. They're gonna go graze down my shin bone. I should feel a little stretch in my hamstring and then reload at the top. Nice, slow and controlled on the way down. Good job guys. Last one. Okay, let's switch legs. So the dumbbells are just grazing my shin bone and I'm keeping my back like I'm trying to balance a cup on it. I'm pivoting at my hips. Five seconds. Three, two, time. Good. Okay, and the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna do some side steps with the weight. So we just grab our 10 pound dumbbell and we're gonna step to the side. So this leg is gonna stay straight and we're gonna do a little pulse and then come back up. We'll go in three, two, one. So we step, two, and back up. My left leg is nice and straight. I'm really going slow and controlling my motion sinking as deep as I can. Good job. Okay, let's switch legs. So now my right leg is staying straight, my left leg, I'm sinking in deep, back to the top.
and time. All right, we'll take like a 30 second break. And then the last thing we have to do is our arms. So we're gonna do overhead extensions. So that's just our triceps. So we're gonna grab a 10 pound dumbbell and do that little thing. All right, let's go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So we grab one 10 pound dumbbell, bringing it back behind our head and just elbows bending slightly straight to the sky. double bicep curl. So we're gonna just always keep our elbows um, bent and engaged. We're never dropping the weights here and resting. We're always bent. So we go up a little, one. Up a little, two. In three, two, one. Here we go. Try to not swing like I'm swinging. Try to keep everything controlled. My knees are bent, my core is activated. My back is nice and tall. My shoulder blades are rolled back, right? My weight is sitting into my heels. Good job, guys. Just 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, Time. Okay, the last thing we're doing is we're gonna be on our backs and we are going to do a military press in a glute bridge. So I'm gonna lift my legs up and I'm just gonna be pressing with my elbows meet at the top. Actually, maybe we'll press this way. No, we'll press military. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so I'm gonna glute bridge just like I'm holding a bench so my, my glutes are squeezed, my hips are nice and high, and I'm just meeting these weights at the top. Good job. This is our last exercise. 10, 5, 4, 3, to time. Oh, good job, guys. So, whew, I feel good. I hope you guys like that one. Um, it's absolutely freezing outside, but I have an Australian Shepherd, so I have to with her. Um, so that'll be fun. And um, let me know how we're feeling. Thank you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for doing this fitness journey with me. This is week four, which feels crazy. We did a whole month. Um, but this is only the first month, right? So consistency takes time, um, results, right? We're thinking macro here, long-term. I'm thinking this whole year. Anyways, okay. Bye guys, I will see ya next week. Enjoy your rest days if you're taking them.